welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here i am back with a video on how i achieve this sort of like beachy full thick voluminous voluminous hair so i've been curling my hair i would say for the past like month or so now i'm obsessed and you guys have taken notice in my like outfits videos and stuff you said this really suits my face shape and I agree with you and I love it so I wanted to share with you because it is a different technique I think so many times we think the hair tool itself dictates the style of the curl but that's not necessarily true at all and I wanted to share with you how I achieved this with the same one inch curling iron I've had since college guys I'm obsessed with this thing it's lasted me many many years and I think it's so just like refreshing to see that you can do so many different hairstyles just using this one thing. I've showed a very straight or a very like curly, I've done blowouts with this, blowouts with this thing. And now we have my subtle like, she did her hair but not really did her hair look and I'm obsessed. So if you want to see how I've been wearing my hair recently, then just keep watching. All right, so let's get started. Um, Yesterday I washed my hair, I did let it air dry but it's been 24 hours, so I feel like it's it's officially bone dry. Now, if you're gonna do this within like 12 hours, I do recommend blow drying it, but anyway. So I washed my hair yesterday. I did not use conditioner, but when I got out of the shower, I used these two products. This is the Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser Invisible Oil. I use some kind of leave-in that's creamy like this, whether it's this one or the Unite, but I picked this one. Um, for this shower. And then I always use this. This is the Bumble and Bumble Thickening Spray. It just gives my hair weight and thickness that I, I love. So these two are the only things that are on my hair right now. And like I said, air dried and then put it in a ponytail bun for the night. But I have my Trusted Dusty Conair one inch one that I've been using. I think I have like multiple um, tutorials on my um, channel using that curling iron. It's just simply the best and it's super affordable so hair is brushed out and let's go ahead and separate, separate it separate it into three sections top section and then i do mostly the middle and bottom section the top sections um very just like one little row of hair but anyway let's clip that off as well that just helps kind of keep it all out of my face now this is the look that i've been doing and you guys seem to really like it and honestly I'm obsessed. So I've tried it a couple different ways. I've done it with a rod um, curling iron, like a clampless one, but I prefer the clamp. Now the key with this is you want to hold it for a super low amount of time and brush through it quickly. And I know that seems what we do is the opposite of what I'm doing, the opposite of what normally you talk about in terms of quit biting your leg, bro. Um, in terms of curling your hair, because typically you want to Hold it and let it set before you brush through it. But with this look, you really don't. Now the bottom section, you mostly just want a kink in it. You don't want a definite curl because it'll kind of shrink up the hair. So the main purpose of this is to just kind of match this with the rest of the hair. So I take probably about an inch section. I switch between sections and how big they are, but I always go in the same direction. So clamp into the middle, roll up, pull down, roll up, and release and that was almost too much of a curl you really want just a very see just a bend towards the end you see how i didn't lose any length on this so when i'm telling you you need to run this through so fast i truly mean so fast so again same section same size section clamp in the middle roll up pull down roll up pull down one two three twist and pull and release again see just a very loose wave again same thing clamp roll up pull down roll up twist and release clamp roll up pull down and release you can always go back and curl more if you curl too much then you have to like go back and kind of like pull it out like that I will do sometimes as well but you just want a bend that's it so again same side or same thing on the other side let's pull up clamp 
clamp twist pull twist so this look takes me like five seconds to do because it is so easy five minutes so easy to just curl your whole head using this technique so again the bottom you do not really need to be precise and that's it so now before I even move on to the next section I go ahead and brush brush it out and you'll see you just get like a one kinked kind of wave now if you have longer hair you're gonna have more but you want just it to look intentionally curled but not overdone so it looks obviously different than how it started right and we can always go back and touch up pieces but generally you want straight ends straight and just one bend okay next section this section's a little bit more i would say a little bit more definition but really not much so we're going to start with just one side at a time so now i start from the back with this again like one inch two inch pieces and again clamp twist pull twist pull twist and release that's it I tell you I can do this so fast like it's truly so simple but I think it's the speed and the technique of the curl and the release that really gives you that sort of like beachy wavy look so twist curl twist curl and pull normally I'm somebody who lets my curls like hold on the curling iron for like eight to ten seconds this no you want it literally three seconds the whole curl itself should take like 10 seconds. Again, same thing. And pull. And you'll get these kind of ringlets. Let's go ahead and let those sit while we do the other side. I think this is going to be the first hair tutorial where I don't have to like film over because it honestly is so freaking fast. And I feel like I can get my whole head done within talking to you guys and when I do it just by myself it takes five minutes so again clamp towards your face or towards the front of the room twist pull twist and release hold twist pull twist pull pull and release Clamp, twist, pull, twist, and release. Now that I'm done and this side is cold, let's go ahead and brush it out. Get just a nice little wave in the top sections where you're going to get the most definition, but you're just going to get this soft, subtle, easy curl to the hair. So obsessed. Okay. Now, while this side's pulling, let's do this other side. Girl, I need some purple shampoo and a hairdresser ASAP. Mostly just a hairdresser. But in the meantime, I need purple shampoo because my hair is looking brassy. Okay, clip this off. Now, the top part is where I get a little bit more definition, but mostly just towards the front. So, again, I take tinier pieces towards the top, too, so I can get a little bit more curl and release. And I will go through and touch up the roots in just a minute and show you how I do that to give just a wee bit more definition. But the key really is like the holding at the end to kind of pull through your curl. So again, you want to just release most of it, but pull it out when you release it. Just the wave. Now, before we do this side, let's brush through them. See how I just have a kink? I love it. It's basically a wave curl situation. Okay. Now let's go ahead and do my last, last section. Clamp, twist, clamp.
Now, whole head's done. On camera, that took just shy of 12 minutes. I love it. I love how it looks. Okay. One last thing, though, I will touch up my bangs and just kind of a couple of random pieces. So to add a little volume, a little bit of texture towards the root, I go ahead and just really focus on just the root, but I don't twist the whole. I want to keep this kind of straight still, so I just kind of touch up where I have and then let it out. So you see how I just give myself some kind of shape up towards the root? Gives more texture. If you notice any straight pieces, I'll go through and just kind of do that. And then this piece. I do like my bang piece a little more structured, but still brushed out pretty fast. This piece, I don't like how that looks a little bit uncurled from the front. So just grab towards the bottom. So again, let's pull just a couple pieces. My bangs look pretty straight. So I'm gonna show you my bangs on this side. So there's a couple of ways that you can curl your bangs. If you want your bangs to not have this curl right by your eye, curl down here. If you want it up towards your eye, curl up. So I clamp like, clamp like that. I do hold my bangs to just a little bit longer, but I still do the same twist out. And brush. See what I mean by saying you get that curl up towards the top of your face versus down here. Now there's a couple straight pieces that I want to kind of address down here. And a couple of roots. And there you have it. Like super like loose tousled waves. If you want more texture to it, definitely add a texture spray. But I love this like tousled, sort of beachy, sort of like could have been a braided look, could have whatever. And you know what's awesome is this the majority the majority the majority of this like body will stay intact and all you have to do is touch up curls the next day not your whole head just kind of top ones you just kind of play around with it i would say the bangs are like the biggest key so curl your bangs from here not from down here i am obsessed and you guys seem to really like it i think it helps me maintain my length which is my goal and I think it helps look really full at the ends, gives so much texture and fullness to my hair um, that I've just never had before. So that is it. You can obviously set it with hairspray. I typically don't. Um, and I feel like this is the, one of those styles that I can wear my hair down and it's not driving me absolutely wild because it's not in my peripheral vision by curling the bangs backwards and upwards. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you want to see any other hair tutorials. Um, but truly, there is not one way to curl your hair. There's so many different ways. And 99% of the time, it's not the tool you use. It's the technique you use. So with this one, it was definitely the pull and release, which gives you this glorious beachy waves. And if you have thin hair, girl, so do I. It doesn't look like it because it looks like I have a lot of hair right now because it's all in the technique. But I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next one very, very soon.